x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1. Okay, a1, b1, c1. We can tell you to write the formula better because now here, right? If you solve it, you can get the answer. But after writing this, repeated this formula, you can remember. Okay, that is why you should write formula every example better. And directly you can solve the value also. Okay, what is the formula here? A1, b2 minus b1 a2 square plus b1 c2 minus c1 b2 square plus a1 c2 minus c1 a2 square. Okay, here now what are x1 y1 z1, x2 y2 z2 and x3 y3 z3. See this components are very tend a1 vector a1 equal to 1 comma 2 comma 1. Better you take the vector form that in the order triplet. Okay. So a2 equal to C. A2 equal to 2 minus 1 minus 1. So every vector can be written in the vector form or order triplet of real numbers. Okay. 2 minus 1 minus 1. Okay. Now what is B1? B1 equal to I minus J plus K. I minus J plus K. What is B2? B2 equal to 2I plus J plus 2K. Okay. Now, you have to use the formula here. Substitute the formula, these values. Therefore, D equal to mod of determinant of x2 minus x1. That is why I wrote a1 into separately. These are x1, y1, z1. These are x2, y2, z2. What is the form by x2 minus x1? Therefore, I write here 2 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 x2 minus x1 2 minus 1 y2 minus y1 minus 1 minus 2 ok z2 minus z1 minus 1 minus 1 next a1 b1 c1 what are a1 b1 c1 they are the components of the vector b b1 what are the components of b1 1 minus 1 1 full set of i is 1 Four set of J is B1, four set of K is C1. Therefore, I will write here as 1 minus 1, 1. B2, what is the components of a vector P? B2, A to B to C2, 2, 2, 1, 2. Okay, 2, 1, 2, whole divided by root of, whole divided by root of C. 1 into 1, 1, minus 2 into minus 1, minus 2, minus or minus this becomes what? Plus 2 square. Okay, plus these two lines, minus 1 into 2, minus 2, minus 1 into 1, 1 square. Plus these two lines are what? These two lines are what? Now these two lines. Okay, 1 into 2, 2. Minus 1 into 2, 2 square. Okay, now substitution is over. Now we have to simplify this determinant and simplify this determinant root separately. The first of all, take this determinant. See, how to evaluate 2 minus 1, 1. Minus 1 minus 2, minus 3. Minus 1 minus 1, minus 2. 1 minus 1, 1, 2. 1, 2. Okay. As you already how to evaluate the determinant along the first flow. Okay. This is equal to 1 into minus 1 into 2 minus 2 minus 1 into 1 1. Okay. Actually, second term will write minus here. Here, what is that second term? Minus 3. 
This becomes what second term when it starts the area of the minus sign. So you see valuation of the determinant here. Here minus 3 is the second by here, it will become what? Plus 3. Okay. Into 1 into 2, 2. Minus 2 into 1, 2 again. Okay. Again, minus 2 here, plus. But here minus 2 is there, minus 2. Into 1 into 1, 1. Minus 2 into minus 1, minus 2. This becomes what? Plus 2. Okay. This is equal to 1 into minus 3, plus 3 into 0, minus 2 into 3. This is equal to minus 3, minus 6. Equal to what? Minus 9. The value of determinant is minus 9. Okay. Therefore, this value of the substitute formula T equal to mod of mod of this is not determinant. It is not determinant. Only this is determinant. This is the positive value. Because of positive value in this case, you have take modulus. Okay. So therefore, this determinant value is equal to what? Minus 9. Minus 9 by root of root of See, 1 plus 2 square, 3 square is what? 9. Okay, minus 2 minus 1, minus 3, minus 3 square, 9. Okay, 2 minus 2, 0. Okay, okay. this is equal to mod of minus 9 by root 18. This is equal to 9 by 2 root 3 root 2. So 3, 3, 1, la, 3, 3, la, equal to 3 by root 2 units is the answer. Okay, this for 3 marks. 3 by root 2 is the answer. As if I any doubt is there, you can ask now. This is very important example for the annual examination. Any doubt? Okay. So now I will give one more example. We will try it now.
that is the formula. Okay, before we start the answer, that is the formula in better way. Here, A1 equal to what? A1 equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3. Vector B1 equal to what? I minus 3 plus 2K. A2 equal to what? 4, 5, 6. Vector B2 equal to what? 2I plus 3 plus K. First, write out A1, A2 in the order pair. Because we have sometimes subtraction here plus minus plot gate answer, it's no problem and now also. That is why I am writing the word of pay. It is equal minus minus equal minus. Okay, sometimes it will become confusion if you have minus sign. Okay, that is why I am writing the subject to write on order phase. Okay, now next write the formula. D, mod of x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1, a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2. Determinant divided by root of a1 b2 minus a2 b1 square plus b1 c2 minus b2 c1 square plus a1 c2 minus c1 a2 square. This is for okay. Now we have to substitute here. This is equal to x2 minus x1 under 4. Minus 1, 5 minus 2, 6 minus 3, 1 comma minus 3 comma 2, 2 comma 3 comma 1. So once you know this determinant thing, it is easy to write the determinant thing denominator. Okay, once you wrote that, that determinant in the determinant things, you can write this determinant in the root. Okay, by a spot you can write. 1 3 plus 3 minus first word by minus. Okay, 2 into minus 3 minus 6. Minus of minus plus 6. Plus minus 3. 1 to minus 3 minus 2 3 the 6 square plus 1 of the 1 plus 2 to the 4 square. I will this much answer. Okay, next is what? I want to evaluate this. Separate the one here. 4 minus 1, 
3, 5 minus 3, 6 minus 3, 3, 1 minus 3, 2, 2, 3, 1. Okay, so development is different than that already. You know what? Development. Okay, so 3 into bracket minus 3 on the minus 3, minus 2 is the 6. Okay, minus 3, second term you are right, minus 3, this is minus 3. Into 1 to the 1, minus 2 to the 4. Next, plus 3 into this 3, 1 to the 3, minus 3 to the 6, minus 6, this become what? Plus 6. Okay, this is equal to 3 into minus 9, minus 3 into minus 3, okay, plus 3 into 9, okay, see this is 3 to minus 9, this is plus 27, plus 27 get cancelled, what is minus 3 into minus 3, plus 9, this is equal to 9. Okay, then 4. Very simple it is. Once you know form by dialog, then easily can get the answer. Mod of 4. So this determinant value is what? 9. Four divided by root of 4. See, 3 plus 6. 6 uh, 3 plus 6 is 81. Minus 3 minus 6 uh, minus 9. Uh, minus 9 square is again plus 81. Uh, 1 minus 4. Uh, 3, this point is 9. Therefore, we have 9 by root of 171. Therefore, t equal to 9 by root of 171 units, not square units. Okay. And this is the answer. I love what is this answer? Ah, okay. So, one more is the same as the one example is there. Expand. Okay. 
first you try that all without t terms and then t terms okay here i is a here minus 2 or j here 3k i minus 2j plus 3k see here also t is a here also t is a here also t is a therefore you take a t common okay plus t into minus i okay plus j minus 2k okay now you get the form of a plus lambda b in place of lambda here you know d is there okay this is the standard form t is a scale of number okay so the solution number one okay similar to take second equation r equal to s i plus i plus 2 s j minus j minus 2 s k minus k 2 s k minus k okay therefore again i want to write all this without s terms i minus j minus k and take s common here i plus 2 j minus 2 k i minus j minus k here take s common here i 2 j minus 2 k okay got it now you have to write a1 a2 b1 b2 okay ah come on tell me what is this called equation number 2 okay vector a1 can be written as what is a1 1 comma minus 2 comma 3 1 minus 2 3 okay or uh, vector b1 what is vector b1 minus i plus j minus 2k you are right b1 is the vector form this one you are right into order prepared okay similarly a2 equal to 1 minus 1 minus 1 i minus j minus k equals okay vector b2 equal to b2 equal to i plus 2j minus 2k Again, write down the formula once again. Again, here I wrote it. Okay. Therefore, this is equal to mod of. Okay. Determinant. Ah, uh, what are the elements of the determinant in the first row? X2 minus X1 or this one minus this one also can be. Okay. One minus one. Write down. Minus one, right? Here you see. Here minus one, right? Minus one. Right? Minus two, minus two, plus two. Okay, plus two. Again, minus one, minus three, minus one, minus three. X two minus X one, Y two minus Y one, Z two minus Z one. Next, you are writing here. A one, B one, C one. Now the top order of vector B one. Okay, here now what you are writing? Minus one, one, minus two. Okay, so what are the components of B two? One, two, minus two. Okay, divided by and the root of. Okay, now minus two, minus two, minus one into one, one square. This place are over. Now next points. One into minus two, minus two, minus. Two into minus two, minus four. Minus four minus four means plus four plus square. Okay, this place. Minus one into minus two, two minus one into minus two, minus two means plus two square. Four. Once you are separate that values correctly, you will get the answer correctly. Okay. Now you have to make it from this determine correctly. Okay. Determine. Zero, 
one minus four zero two minus four one minus one minus three minus four minus one minus two one two minus two. Okay, any doubt? Now the expansion of this determinant is zero. There is no need to write any term because zero is simplified with any terms. So take it zero only. Okay, minus one. Minus one, minus one into minus two, two. Minus one into minus two, minus two. This becomes what? Plus two. Okay. Minus four. Minus one into two, minus two. Minus one into one, one. Okay. This is equal to zero. Minus one into four, minus four into minus three. Equal to Minus four plus twelve equal to eight. Minus four plus twelve minus four into minus three plus twelve is equal to eight. Therefore, d equal to eight by root of minus two minus one three d square nine plus minus two plus four two square four two plus two four four square. Sixteen mod equal to eight by root of twenty-nine. So not generate a modulus. Okay, get it, sir. When uh, you have to remove this modulus, then suppose you have nineteen minutes to write positive only. So when you have to remove this evaluator, after getting the answer, then suppose you have minus six, so write last thing plus only. Plus means you don't need to write again plus. Okay, eight by root twenty-nine minutes. Okay, so these are the examples sir, on distance due to skew lines. Okay, so in the three four examples, the study solved one and today solved three. Maybe they last one question. Okay, next let us see. In fuse first year, what you are discussed with the lines after proving different forms of lines. Sir, what you are discussed other than that the equation of lines. Sir, So, in angle between two lines sir, and distance between two parallel lines is there. So, what is there in this question? Sir? After proving all five forms of lines, sir, so there are two possibilities out there to discuss the lines. Sir. One is angle between the two lines, sir, and another one is distance between two parallel lines. Because sir, this is a plane is there. Okay, in that plane, sir, if you draw two lines, sir, if they are parallel, means they are not intersecting. If they are not intersecting, then the angle will not get there. In that case, I have to find the distance between two parallel lines. If they are not parallel, then definitely they will intersect any one point. In that case, I have to find the angle between two lines. So tan theta equal to m two minus m one by one plus m one m two. Distance between two uh, two parallel lines is d equal to c two minus c one by root of a square plus b square. Okay, only two cases will come back in the two-dimensional geometry. In three-dimensional geometry also, there are three possibilities of this because here we are only two lines. Okay, non-intersecting, non-parallel lines are called two lines. So already over, not distance between two two lines. Again, two more cases are there. One is if they are parallel lines. Suppose they are exactly parallel lines in space, and one more is. If they are not parallel, if they are intersecting lines, that case you have to find the angle between two lines. Okay. Now here, in this here, they are reduce this angle between two lines. We have to discuss only distance between two skew lines and distance between two parallel lines. Okay. So only one example is there, right? And that is distance between two parallel lines. Now we have to discuss the. Formula to find the distance between two parallel lines. Okay, distance between two parallel parallel lines.
distance is two parallels. Consider two parallel lines. L one. It is R equal to vector A one plus lambda B. L two is the other line defined as A two plus lambda B. See here. In previous example, I wrote the wrote wrote here B one and B two because the B one and B two are two different that vectors. But if they are parallel. If they are parallel, if they are parallel to the same vector. Okay. So what is the meaning? Sir, R equal to A one vector plus lambda B two. Sir, line passing through the point A and parallel to vector B. This is also point line A passing through this point A, which is vector A two vector and parallel to vector B. Both the lines are parallel to same. Parallel is they are parallel to same vector only. That is why we are not necessary to take two different vectors. Only you take B. Okay, in the explanation also they will not ask. Find the distance between two parallel lines. Find the distance between two skew lines. They will not ask. You only decide they are parallel or skew lines sometimes. Okay, if the vectors are same, if they are parallel. If they are not same, if they are skew lines. Okay, now see here. I will take this line L one and this line L two again same. Okay, yes, be the point on the line L one whose position vector is vector A one. Again, be the point on line L two whose position vector is vector A two. Join S P same position. Join S P. Okay, what you have to find is you have to find the distance between two parallels. Anywhere you can take, anyway, two points you have to join here. Okay, I will join here this, or you can join this one also. Okay, this suppose I will take P. P is the distance between two parallels. You have to find the P T. Let the theta be the angle. Theta be the angle. Between between S T and vector B because theta suppose here C theta is here suppose this S T is one vector there right? okay so this is made angle with the other one ever is parallel to vector B so you have to take both the right? line is line only you have to take but if you take the vector form is both should be vector only if S T is one there. Right? Vector and P is the other vector. We can't take L1. See, let theta be the angle between S T and P. Okay, and this forms a right angle triangle. So what about sine theta here? Sine theta equal to what? Opposite side by hypotenuse. Theta is here because this is opposite side. This is hypotenuse. Therefore, what do you have? P T bar S T. Okay, and therefore P T equal to what? S T sine theta. S T sine theta. Call this question number one. Okay. S T sine theta. You know that, that. What is the geometrical meaning of A cross B? Can you tell me? What is the meaning of A cross B? A cross B be the vector which is perpendicular to both A and B. A cross B meaning you want to know any two vectors sir, in a space. Sir. So you have to find one more vector which is perpendicular to two known vectors. Okay, that is nothing but that a cross b. This a cross b can be determined by using a data element. So I think I J K A one A one C two A two B two C two. Okay, actually definition of a cross b is what? If a and b are the two vectors, then a cross b is different as mod of a into mod of b into sine of a cross b bar. Into n cap. This is the definition of cross product of two vectors. Why you want n cap? Why n cap is the unit vector along a cross b. These three are the magnitudes, sir. Mod of a cross magnitude, magnitude of b cross magnitude. Okay. Scalar quantity sine theta is also scalar. This gives the length of a cross b. This gives the n cap direction. N cap is the unit vector along a cross b. This product of these all scalar quantities will be magnitude of the vector a cross b. 
अरे पकड़ तो देख लो ये पेन भी आ सकते हो एक इसमें ए क्रॉस बी के अंदर डिफरेंट है मोड ऑफ पेन टू मोड ऑफ पेन टू साइन ऑफ एन क्रॉस बी का इंटीग्रल टू ए एंड बी एंड एन के अंदर एन के अंदर का यूनिट वेक्टर ये आल्सो दिस इज एस टी वन वेक्टर बी इज अनदर वेक्टर ओके देन व्हाट इज द क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एस टी एंड डी ओके सी नाउ फर्स्ट आई वांट टू फाइंड अप व्हाट इज वेक्टर एस डी एस डी इक्वल टू रो देंटर क्वेश्चन वेक्टर ऑफ टर्मिनल पॉइंट पर इज क्वेश्चन वेक्टर ऑफ वन इनिशियल पॉइंट है बिकॉज पोजीशन वेक्टर ऑफ एस दे आर गिवन इन सो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ओरिजिन है सो व्हाट एवर द टर्म्स यू आर डिस्कसिंग इन स्पेस इन रिस्पेक्ट टू ओरिजिन हियर वी आर नॉट रोट x x y x that x means here it is there okay yes this with respect to origin t whose position at the gate means with respect to origin therefore if you know the terminal vector terminal position vector of a terminal point and initial point as a vector by two points how can find it s t equal to o t minus o s therefore this is equal to a2 minus a1 okay now Cross product of two vectors A cross B is this one now. Therefore, C S T cross vector B I want to take care. S T A B is again B. What is the cross product of these two vectors? According to definition of cross product, what you can write now? This is equal to mod of S T mod of B into sine theta into n theta. Okay, now see I want to take here magnitude. Okay, mod of okay. Uh, see either can take S T cross B or B cross S T also. Okay, I want to take here B cross S T better. Okay, both are same. See what we have. So if you should take the ten uh, vectors in the anticlockwise direction, the answer will come up positive. If you take that vector in the clockwise direction, then that vector will come as negative. Either you can take S T cross B or B cross S T. One will come positive and other will come negative. But afterwards, the tensor will come magnitude, positive only, because you are trying to answer the modulus. Okay, so here yeah. also you can take this one out. No problem. Here only I take mod of S T cross B. I want to take here mod. Okay, see this is uh, equal to. Mod of S T, no need to write again. Okay, E value is mod of B. That one also already is there. Sine theta, sine theta is either a positive or negative according to angle it is there. So both in see angle theta, but here zero to ninety degrees theta is directly from zero to one eighty degree. It is in first quadrant, second quadrant. Sir. In first quadrant, second quadrant, sine is always Positive only means no need to write mod for this one. Okay, directly I can write here sine theta and mod of n cap. Mod of n cap is nothing but mod one because the unit of magnitude is one. Therefore, now see sine theta equal to mod of S T cross B by mod of S T into mod of B. Okay, this is two. Substitute. Substitute two in one. Two in one. What is one? Na? Pt or final. Pt equal to sp sin theta. Sin theta can be written as mod of sp cross b by again magnitude of s theta one taken as s length. Magnitude of s theta taken as s t and mod of b or three can be written. Okay, this and this get cancelled. Okay, this is equal to S T O N T A two minus A one cross B by mod of B. This is the answer. But that P T should be always positive. That is why I want to make here P T equal to B cross A two minus A one by mod of B. I want to write that model. Actually, A is not. Suppose here A is B, but here I wrote that B cross A. Is it A cross B or B cross A? No, minus A B cross A. I want to write that. But here I wrote that model. That is a little lot of effect. Actually, here you are right. This one first, this one first. 
Okay, if a two minus a one plus b is not a b cross a two minus a one, this should be all negative. So that is why here only I will take b cross s t. We get same standard c here. Right? This is the same answer. Right? But what they are given in the textbook that for your right. Hand. That is why this is the answer they are given. Right? Here only if you take b cross s t, no, we get same answer here. Right? Okay, so either you have to take s t cross b or b cross s t, you will get same answer. But the answer comes either positive or negative. There is no change in the magnitude. Only its sign will be opposite. So therefore, this is the answer. Okay. Ah, see here. What is the difference between form of skew lines and parallel lines? There we have b one cross b two dot a two minus a one by mod of b one cross b two. Here, what we have in place of b one cross b two or the only b. B a two minus a one by mod of B, but only change is cross. Okay, here we should have cross. There we have that. It will become confusion if you get about this one. Okay, when you are trying to distinguish between two skew lines, sir, B one cross B two dot a two minus a one by mod of B one cross B two. So here, sir, B dot B cross a two minus a one by mod of B. B1 cross B2 will write only B. After that, the dot will come there. There also the cross will come, but it is it is between B1 and B2. Looking same, that is why. Okay, here it will be the cross, so there it will be dot. Okay, so this is the formula. Okay, try to find an example here. Yes. Again, let error. They will not ask the example number seven. They will ask it. Okay. Example seven is not that much. It is few lines only. They will ask it. Okay, sir. Sir, they lost this parallel lines. So that is why we have to do more important to few lines. Find the distance between the lines. Find the distance between the lines L1 and L2. Find the distance between the lines L1 and L2. Given by given by R equal to I plus 2J minus 4K plus lambda into 
तो आई प्लस थ्री के प्लस सिक्स के एंड आर इक्वल टू थ्री आई प्लस थ्री के माइनस फाइव के प्लस म्यू इंटू टू आई प्लस थ्री जे प्लस सिक्स के फाइंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू लाइन सेवन एंड टू गिवन बाय लाइक दिस ओके हाँ सी दे विल नॉट ऑफ दैट दिस आर द टू स्क्यू लाइन्स आर बट टू पैरेलल्स यू ओनली फाइंड इट दैट whether they are parallel okay skew lines sir can you see that they are like this right is that 4i plus 6d plus 12k over okay. okay here you think both are different there but uh, you have to check whether any term is common in the second line or first line okay here you take two common again it will become 2i plus 3j plus 6k two mu mu is a constant that two mu is again it will become odd constant only That is why sometimes they will make confusion to multiply any constant to the second vector. Okay, that is why in CET they are asked like that one example. Okay, so multiply is a constant. Okay, so otherwise theory means that they will ask that only directly this question. Okay. Ah uh, yes. Now this one the better you are trained by vector method only. First you see it. Right now A one. A one equal to I plus Q J. Minus four k b equal to three i. Sorry, here what I have written a two three i three j minus five k vector b equal to two i plus three j plus six k. Okay, now write the formula first. D equal to d equal to mod of b cross A two minus A one by mod of B. Okay, first I want to find A two minus A one. A two minus A one. Okay, three I plus three J minus five K minus I plus two J minus Four k equal to three i minus i two i three j minus two j plus j minus five k minus half uh, minus half minus four k minus k. Okay. Now what I have to find is b cross this b cross here also we should write a modulus there this formula. Okay. Here also we should write a modulus in order. Okay. Okay. Magnitude. Okay. Here also you see mod of S T cross B is here also. S T means what? A two minus A one mod. Okay. Here also write mod. Correct? Now see now A two minus A one. A two minus A one. See B is one vector. Right? And a two minus a one is another vector. How to find cross product of two vectors? How to find cross product of two vectors? By determinant. Cross product of two vectors can be determined by the determinant. Okay. This is equal to see how to find it. I J K. Okay. First B. What are the components of B? Two, three, six. Two, three, six. X cross with a two minus seven. Already got a two minus seven. Two one minus one. Two one minus one. Okay, this is equal to i into three into minus one minus three minus six on the six minus j two into minus one minus two minus six to the third plus k into two minus Six. Two minus six. Okay, this is equal to minus nine i minus half minus one plus fourteen j minus four k. This is vector b cross a two minus a one. But in the formula, 
magnitude of b cross a to minus seven nine. How to find magnitude of the vector you know that? Okay. Now mod of b cross a to minus seven is equal to root of minus nine square plus fourteen square plus minus four square. Magnitude of the vector is the magnitude. Okay, you know that term. any vector means a square plus b square plus c square. Okay, give the magnitude of the vector. Therefore, this is equal to root of 81 plus 186 plus 16 is equal to to 90. 93. Okay. Now, similarly, now you should have magnitude of B. So, how do you know here B? How to find magnitude of B? Again, again the same. Mod of B equal to root of 2 square plus 3 square plus 6 square equal to 4 plus 9 plus 36 equal to equal to what? 7. Now, substitute here. B equal to mod of root of 293 by 7 or this is equal to root of 293 by 7 units. Instead, uh, here, here, okay. What's the asking? Why you have to take minus g? Okay. I minus 3 minus j will take minus j into minus 2 solve. Okay, I will explain it. Just wait. Because this is the method to evaluate the determinant. I will explain one example. That is base of determinant. Okay, write down first. Allah wrote down. Okay, yes. Suppose we have one determinant. See, one determinant. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, one. Okay. What determinant is there? How to evaluate this determinant? Okay, first we have what right uh, plus uh, minus uh, plus. It is compulsory. After writing, take plus one. Plus one into neglecting corresponding common row. We have second order determinant. Okay, one, two, two, one. You have to multiply this uh, diagonal elements minus this diagonal elements. One into one, one. Minus 2 to the 4. This sign you have to multiply this 2. It is in formula. Minus 2 into again neglecting this power and row. We have 4 elements. 4 on the 4 minus 3 to the 6. Again plus 3. Okay. Into neglecting this row and column, we have these 4 elements. 4 to the 8 minus 3 on the in the format it is Okay. Therefore, uh, some books they are given the plus also. When they are given plus means I usually you have to take the, this minus this. Okay. For second element that they will take the first this minus this. Okay. But it is better that right? you have to multiply these elements. Right? These elements are called principal diagonal elements. These elements are called secondary diagonal elements. Because in the determinant that see, 5, 6, 2, 1, 3, 5, 0, 1, 2. Okay. See from left of the top corner to bottom of the right corner elements are called principal diagonal elements. This is second. Okay. From the top of the right corner 
corner to bottom of the left corner element is not a principal diagonal. It is called secondary diagonal. Okay, whenever if you multiply, you have to multiply the principal diagonal with first. Secondary, either it will be second order or third order determinant. First, you have to multiply second or first principal diagonal element minus secondary diagonal elements. Okay, that is the method. Therefore, we have one into this into this here. Don't let this into this first. This is called principal. Top of the left corner to bottom of the right corner elements are called principal diagonal elements. Okay, that is why I wrote here one minus. So this is the expansion of the determinant along the first row. You can expand the second row also. How to expand the second row means that here you get plus minus plus minus here you get minus plus minus. In that case, you get a minus four. Neglecting corresponding row and we have here four or two one or two minus two. Of this. Here plus 1. Into neglecting this and this, you have 4 elements 1 into 1, 1 minus 3 is 9. Plus minus 2 again here. Then uh, neglecting this and this, you have 1 to the 2 minus plus 6. Similarly, you can write along the first third also. That case again here plus the minus the plus. The. You can export into the column also, first column. How to expand it? This you have to plus minus plus. Again, neglect the one into neglecting this and this you have four elements. Again, take minus four. Neglecting this and this you have four elements. Again, take this. Again, plus. Neglecting this you have to take four elements. It means what you have to divide the determinant to the any row or any column. It means you have three rows and three columns. Along the first row, second row, third row, first column, second column, third column. Visually, you have to expand the determinant by Along with the first row. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, next. Okay, uh, this is the only one example given in the textbook based on the distance between two parallel lines. Okay. Uh, yes, this completes the, uh, the concept of the line. One more concept is related that I want to explain here that is angle between two lines. Other I told usually. Now this year they will not ask the examples on based on the angle between two lines. Okay, suppose that you see, you know that if that lines are not parallel, not in the two lines, then they are intersecting lines. Okay, intersecting lines in what are? They are intersecting at one point. Hello again, hello two. Theta is also fine. Okay, it is very simple one. Huh? Okay, how to find angle between the two at the two lines in the C? As you know that in vector, right? how to find angle between two vectors? Okay, see this vector is parallel to B1, this vector is parallel to B2. See, this vector is parallel to vector B1, right? this vector is parallel to B2. Angle between this theta is same as angle between B1 and B2. Therefore, whatever the angle you got from B1 and B2, same angle is the error delta. So, therefore, right? cos theta is equal to B1 dot b2 by mod of b1 into mod of b2. How to find dot product already know that? This is the magnitude of vector b1, magnitude of vector b2. If two lines are said to be perpendicular, means b1 dot b2 equal to 0. b1 dot b2 equal to 0. Okay, this is the vector form of a vector form of theorem to find formula to find negative 2. Like similarly, if you want to write it in partition formula of a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 by root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square. Okay, this is the angle between two lines in the partition formula because a1 b1 c1 are the components of the b1 a2 b2 c2 are the components. Okay. Okay, here I took B, uh, B3, no? B3, C3, not come. What do you have? Yeah. A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus B1, C2 by root of A1 square plus B1 square plus C1 square. Okay, A2 square plus B2 square plus C2 square. Okay, this is the angle between two. Lines in the condition form. And if you know the direction, precise, 
Okay, that will become L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2. Okay, use the formula so I will solve some questions on the angle between two lines also. Okay, so in the next class. Thank <laughs> you.